we're gonna show you three ways to break free from people pleasing in this video. If you're the type of person that says yes to every single thing, I get it, I've been there. I'm gonna show you how to move past that today. I got Shauna, Jamel, and Kusha here with me. We're gonna rock this out. So I am a recovering people pleaser. <laughs> uh, my entire life, I, I think it came from just wanting to fit in and wanting to be loved. And you know, a lot of us have these feelings. And what ended up happening, or what I realized, is that through my people pleasing, I started living life for other people instead of for myself. So I was doing things that people wanted me to do, saying things people wanted to hear, going where people wanted me to go, and then I realized that I wasn't in control of my life. I was letting other people's cool. things. If you've experienced this, what Sean is experiencing, we're going to give you some ways to break free from that. So number one, Kusha, what is it? Number one, if you say yes all the time, you're actually at the same time saying no to yourself and the things that really matter. Yeah, I just had an experience actually this weekend. It was my friend's birthday in Los Angeles, her birthday party, and she actually asked me to guide him to lead a meditation at the party. And I said yes, but I also knew that my husband was going out of town for a week and it was the last day that I could spend with him. So I said yes to both of them, which ended up me having to cancel on my friend in LA, letting her down, letting myself down, and then having major FOMO because I wasn't at the party. And, and then I felt let down and I shared that with my husband and it was just, you know, I the day I ended up spending like emotionally depleted and I felt bad. Number two is if you tell people yes all the time and then you don't follow through because you don't have the time and you don't have the ability to actually deliver, you're actually lying to that person in the moment. And instead of being a people pleaser, the reframe is that you're a liar. Nobody wants to be a liar. I don't know, I don't want to be a liar. You want to be a liar? Mm -mm and that because you're a loving being, like you have love in your heart, even if you say no or you give the person feedback that would be looked at as kind of like harsh or negative, it's not about you and it's not about them, it's just coming from you, from love. So it can't be a bad thing. Number three is to recognize how powerful your word really is. You know, if you look at the common denominator of success, whether it be in your professional life, your personal life, there's some critical referral habits and those referral habits are almost impossible to do if you're a people pleaser. And those referral habits are always following through with what you say you're gonna do. So you know, being a person of your word, of your integrity, otherwise no one would refer you to any opportunity if they thought you wouldn't. Um, always showing up on time, or as Vince Lombardi would say, showing up early. Always under yeah. promise and exceeding over expectations. Mm -hmm. Exceed expectations every single time. And then people will start to see you as that person that they want to be around because you're making it happen. You're not the person that's people pleasing and saying yes all the time and not following through with what you say you're gonna do. And if you're always saying yes to everybody, there's no way you can do those things. If you're making commitments to other people saying yes to things that you really shouldn't be wasting your time with, then that's gonna make you late or completely miss the opportunities and the things that are really important. Nobody wants to feel emotionally depleted. If you're a people pleaser, then leave a comment below. Commit to 90 days out, 60 days out, whatever. Declare that you will not be a people pleaser anymore. Start to say no. Challenge yourself to say no. Maybe you go the next 24 hours saying no to everything that comes into your life. That's the challenge. Can you do that? I think so. All right, Drew Canoli. Shauna Mota. And Krusha Karwandi. Thanks for watching another episode of Fit Life TV. Remember, we're in this together. We'll see you soon.